All right, let's make some lo-fi. Um, okay, let's see here. Let me start off with lo-fi. Now, I have two choices right here, and I'm pretty sure everybody else uh, would either probably do this. Set this to you know negative three because um, it just seems a little bit better, more lo fi like. Okay, so uh, usually how I start off these is I uh, make a loop first. Um, very simple, you know, just add the main melody, bass line, kick, snare, hi-hats, uh, cymbals, whatever. <laughs> very simple. Uh, very easy, and usually it works with most of the songs that I do. Uh, also with the main melody, um, if you notice that and you listen to most of my music, uh, everything is very spacey-like. And I usually like that kind of vibe, I guess you can say. So I usually add a ping-pong, which makes it it's very subtle. Once you add it, yeah, like it says, when I stop, you can hear the echo. Here, let me... It has that kind of space kind of vibe, and then I put a ball hollow on. Kind of like a 50-50 kind of thing, I guess you can say, like around kind of like this. I usually don't work with pre-delay, uh, pre high cut, or depth, or anything over here, and nothing else pretty much. Um, but mainly because like I haven't really thought of putting much time into, you know, learning what those do. Just like the sound, mess. And then usually for the intro, I add an isotope. The warp death being, you know, kind of like, uh, it doesn't really matter. Usually for piano, I usually add a warp the left, uh, warp depth. There we go. <laughs> But uh, usually what gives it that lo-fi feel is messing with this gear knob, okay? So, you know, gear kind of messes, it, it kind of, it's a knob. It's very similar to the auto filter, I guess you could say. So, let's say we got the normal 2000, which is the lower there we go. And it's very similar to how auto filter works. Isotope is a little bit more, uh, it's more lo fi, kind of like I guess you could say, because I'm able to mess with warp depth, or else I would normally do auto filters, but I only do uh, auto filters when I do like transaction, that kind of stuff, or uh, if I just want to do the, uh, you know, the year thing, if you know what I mean. So this is a good, uh, good, very, very much of an intro, but uh, usually you would. You know, set off the intro and have it towards where it plays for about 
eight bars and then you would have the bass kick in and then you have like some sort of like intermission like a snare everything stops and then the beat hits so yeah you would kind of do that kind of thing so it would sound something kind of like as you can see here's the uh, intermission right here and then so let's see here let's do two bar it's very it's very nice i would say so we got the intro kind of right there but we're not gonna work with the intro just yet we're gonna work on the bass now now usually what i do with these loops um to kind of like save time i would go into the midi pack and if you look right here it says e minor uh, I'd look in here and try to find something that's very similar. Usually I'm not really that lucky, I guess you could say. because I don't have like perfect pitch or anything. Um, usually what I do is I pop in a serum because that's usually what I do for my bass. Pop in a serum and go to, you know, like a sub bass or something like that. And then drag this into here and then go for harmony. And it would, it's gonna be really wacky. I'll let you know that. It's gonna be very, very, very crazy. So again, it's all over the place. But usually if you take all of these notes, See, we got two single notes. We quantize it, you know, flatten everything, and then extend it out the perfect length. You get a decent kind of thing. basically your baseline and then we're gonna copy and paste this over here but we're gonna delete this bit because that's uh, and then usually what I do for like a good bit is I copy and paste this but then I add a low bass or you know just a bass that's kind of wobbly and uh, usually this does the trick but usually some of those ads do something that's a little more deeper Definitely not those. There was one that I used in the latest song called Chains. Uh, it's one of these. I think.
probably do just do like a simple, um, like a simple, you know, one hit kind of base right here to kind of give him the little tease. Just a little tease. So we got the baseline. Oh boy. So this is gonna be kick, snare, hi hats. We're just gonna do those simple things right now. So I got drum racks into here. And then into these two of the kick and the snare, and then everything. And then the uh, hi hats gets its own kind of thing because I let because sometimes I like to do the low notes hi hats. Which, you know, does work very well. So, I kind of feel like I need a bassy one. And that's a long and bassy. I might do this one. Because it might fit. Let's just, let's see. Let's hope. We're doing 90 BPM. So you want kind of like different snares if you're going to stack them like this. Different ones. And then do Too basic.
There we go. So, so much fun. Wait. I just now noticed that everything is like incredibly loud for y'all. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, it's not for me because I have everything set like 150, even though, even though it says 100, uh, I have a little interface right here. That's just 50. Oh my god, this is so hard because, like, the baseline it's like so delayed, so it kind of makes everything a little bit more difficult. Ooh. Oh boy. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Now, why am I in there? I should be in the hats. There we go. Now, standard, uh, you know, standard hi hat loop. how it fits. Here comes the fun part, here comes the little secret that I learned from watching a crap ton of tutorials. Now if you want to spice up your hi-hats because they don't sound very too well, they just sound so standard, you know, this one, you know, sounds like a clock. Adding a vocoder makes it sound better, I guess you can say. And I kind of agree with it because you add a Valhalla or reverb just, just reverb.
duplicate. There we go. Okay, and let's add a compressor to the hi hats. Now, if you really want to make this thing sound, you know, more lifelike, um, there's one tactic that everybody loves to do, apparently, is... Right here. So, uh, I downloaded this OfficeCymatics.com, I think that's what it's called. I think it's the website, it's just it's Office Cymatics. And it's like, it's a bunch of packs called Life. And you download them all, and it's like, it's a couple gigabytes, I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, but they give you like, oh my god, it, they're so amazing. Like, you get sounds of the city. And then it goes from like, it goes from city to fire. To waterfall, to walking, you know, like, you even get vinyl crackings, which... That's lo-fi right there. And then you add rain, some rain. Let me tell you something. You add rain, and then you got yourself a lo-fi track. And then thanks to, you know, this cymatics stuff, like the cymatics life and that kind of stuff, you got it. <laughs> Take these, uh, you want to add a limiter, um, you know, set this like really low. So it's not like, you know, overriding, but you still want to like, you want to listen to it and set it. And then, you know, don't forget to glue compress it because without the glue compressor, that guy's not really good together, well, in my opinion. Yes, I know. I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this that knows what that knows what what's happening, <laughs> what I'm doing. Probably freaking out, to be honest with you. Probably saying a whole bunch of stuff. It's like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Uh, first of all, I not really intelligent. This is I'm not intelligent. That's all I can say. I'm not really good at this. <laughs> I've been doing this since March 2018. about a year about it coming close to two years of experience and i'm just now getting the grasp of it so Why is it like this? Oh, okay. Let's see. yourself a lo-fi loop right here uh, you add a glue compressor over it and you know you turn it down you know add some makeup to it uh, take a limiter uh, well you can do what you want basically to it I always add a glue compressor because it smushes everything together and then I add an ozone and then mess with the high def uh, high detail settings. So there's like high detail compression. I like a whole bunch of other kind of stuff, just normal high detail in general. I go through them and see which one it does not peak on and which one it sounds more lively. And then sometimes depending on how I feel, I'll add a limiter if it's way too loud. And then, you know, I'll render it, do whatever I need to do, upload it, Spotify and that kind of stuff. 
so, you know, I know it's time to clean everything out. Oh, did I forget to mention these hi hats can also act uh, also act like a shaker? If you haven't, if you have not heard just then. your intro you know your main part right here your intermission and then you got your second part right here and then you got an outro and then this is your basic layout that I go with uh, but usually you want to make these two different so I would suggest uh, let's say cutting this one setting this to zero Not seem that good, but I mean, you know what? Let's add a lead. Yep, let's add a lead. We can do that. We just gotta figure out the scaling. Oh, which is E minor, of course. E major minor. Okay. I think I remember how to do this. Nope. I'll just do minor one thing. Okay, so. We're gonna do, you know, the standard. What I've learned from music theory is mapping out the minor chords to C minor. So now you got that. Set so this to E minor. So now I got everything. Let's go down three since it's C sh C sharp minor. Okay. Because since this is set down for three, we kind of, you know, we kind of have to. So this is yeah, it's it. down three steps. We kind of have to. Anyways, here we go. Uh, now how are we gonna do this? Baseline. That's how. Baseline for the baseline. Pretty obvious. Oh, I went out at F11. Oh boy. Ha! Oh boy. Okay, let's find a key that. Okay, 
is this one? Upright back. I'm gonna go ahead and get. I'm gonna go ahead and make the melody. So I'll be right back. Okay. Whew. Okay. So I got a standard melody. It goes like. Okay. So with these, I'm gonna kind of, you know, go up here, kind of do some chord like. I guess you could say. Bonk. So this should spice it up a little bit. So kind of like right here for the second bit, uh, for like, so this is going to be like, this is kind of like two halves, I guess you could say. So like for the first bit, you want to do like a normal one. And then the second one, you want to do uh, same thing, but like an octave up. So kind of like a two part harmony, I guess you could say. So... So now we want to work on the better part since we got like the main idea out. Um, let's make transactions. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, there's auto filter transactions, there's you know white noise transactions, there's the glitch kind of transactions. I really like the glitch of transactions, I'll be honest with you. I used it in chains and I fell in love immediately. Whew. Uh, and there's also, you know, like random noise or interaction kind of like these. That's a transaction. If you did not know. Oh god, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna do auto filters. We're also gonna do the glitch transactions. So you know, so we you know, we spice it up. So we're gonna do a uh, auto filter transaction right here. We're going to do. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, so... Am I retarded? Where am I at? Yes, I am retarded. Okay. That's right. Fuck. Should I 
space. There we go. Right there, we're gonna put this right here, so it kind of like. There you go. That's one. So we're gonna put these right here, and but then in some of these we're gonna do the ones. Okay, here's comes the fun part because it goes like a duh, 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 duh. This needs to be less consensus, because that's a little too fast. What am I doing? Okay. Ha! <laughs> Bro. Okay. Am I dumb? Okay. There we go. Finally. God dang. That was a little too fast. All right, that was a little too slow. That is nowhere near how <laughs> what I wanted. I mean, it has the idea, but it's not. Experimenting. That's all it needs. And also proper workage, because this is not going to work right now. And it's annoying. It's really getting my nerves. Here we go. Is it backwards? It's backwards. Yes, it is. Huh. Strange. Okay, so instead of doing these, because I feel like it's going to take way too long, and I'm starting to get very, very tired. Um, even though it's like 420. Ooh, 420. Even though it's like very early. But it's raining. It's making me very tired. I'm going to hurry up and finish this up. No. <laughs> Anyways, so we got like normal transactions already. Start. Yeah, we got their standard ones, so. Now it's time to put our pizzazz on it. We're gonna add a couple more stuff, add the backup stuff that we need, which is like crashes and that kind of stuff. I usually do that last minute. I don't know why. Verb. 
Never mind. We're not going to do crashes. We're just going to do rides. <laughs> Let's do the final thing where I do uh, finding a transaction to kind of give it that little taste. I started to doing this uh, now. It kind of gives it a little kind of like a little taste of like, hey, it's not over, or uh, like, is it's not over, or is it? You know what I kind of mean. So like. Sometimes I usually do like a fade in kind of the melody or something like that, or I do like the last transaction. Like in Chains, uh, I did uh, a kind of like a violin, kind of sound electric kind of violin. I put it through an amp and that kind of stuff. And um, and I made it sound like a train. And then I added it at the very end to kind of give it that little taste like, hey, is it's not, it's over, or is it? But I mean. And then usually because Ableton wants to mess up sometimes, um, I usually have to do this, kind of like. I don't know why, I'm kind of too lazy to go into the settings and mess with it, but like, you know. So whenever this is over, it would stop right there. And I'm gonna put that right there. Just put it down here. So this is basically the entire song. Uh, yeah that was a good session um i don't think i'll upload this to spotify i might i might not not uh, yeah heck uh, yeah i'll do it uh let's see here what am i gonna save it as I don't want you to see my my files <laughs> i mean i got nothing bad to hide oh wait yes i do hmm y'all could have saw y'all saw a little bit Yo, yo, so a little. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw a little some stuff. Anyways, let's name it. <clears throat> wow, I'm not. I'm, I, usually, I'm not really good at uh, with names. Usually, I just look out of the window or I look at stuff that gives me ideas. 
Oh, let's see. Look at the window. What can I find? Let's give it a flank. I saw a bird. That should be it. Take it off full screen. Export. And let's put it in here. Flight. And oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. I forgot one thing. Got ozone. There we go. Perfect. Anyways, this should be it. For the, this should be it for today's session. Uh, I might do one probably next week, maybe the week after. I'm very unsure, very unlikely. Um, just depending on how old this video does. Um. Anyways, here's the final result. Um, please like and subscribe because I should because I should be doing this more often. Don't forget to don't forget to listen to my actual music on Adux or at Adux on SoundCloud. You know you get SoundCloud. I even have it on Instagram here on YouTube, Spotify. You just look me up, A D D U X. Same thing as this account, but you know without the dot MP3. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.